Hello, my name is Adam Ratcliffe and I am a member of the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, we're going to have a look at custom number formats so you can edit how your numbers look in Tableau. So, if you connect to the sample Superstore dataset, and then we will just build a simple chart first, and then we will start editing the number format. All right, so grab order date, right click and drag up to the columns, drop it in, and click on green continuous months. Then drag sum of profit to your rows. And that's the chart we'll be using today, simple as that. What we will be editing is the format of these labels here on the axis. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on this axis and hit format. And we find ourselves here at this number numbers in the format pane. So click on this and we get a number of different options. So number standard, we'll just put it in the base form it is in the, in the data source with an automatic thousands separator. Number custom gives you the ability to change certain things like the decimal places. We can uh, change the number of those in here and how negative values down here at the bottom are presented. So with a minus sign at the front in brackets, a minus sign at the back. You can also display units. So in the automatic mode, it came with a K at the end. You can put that back in or you can put M. M won't work because none of these are high enough to be in millions, but that's how that works. You can also add your own custom prefix and suffix. So if you know this is money, you could put a dollar sign at the front like that. Or if you needed to have suffix, you could put something like a plus at the end if you needed to. You could also untick thousand separators if you had it like this. So then it would just be the numbers without that comma. This is profit, so it's uh, likely in a currency format. So if we go to currency standard, you then get to choose the country that it's from. So if you chose India, for example, it'll then change the entire format of what you're looking at. But let's go back into English. Currency custom is much like number custom. You get all the same values here, but your currency of choice is already put into the prefix box. Scientific puts it in what is known as standard form. That won't be necessary for what we're doing. And percentage will times it by 100 and put a percentage sign on the end. And you can control the decimal places here. The last thing to look at is this custom box. And if you go from automatic to custom, you'll find that this box is empty. But if you were to go from number number custom, and let's say you were to get rid of some decimal places and you were to put in uh, your pound sign prefix, you go to custom, it'll be filled out for you. And what this is saying here is to put a pound sign at the front and then the number and then this comma here denotes that thousand separator. The number's continued. And then a semicolon here denotes the change from this format for positive and then the format afterwards for negative. So the only difference here is this negative sign in front. If I were to get rid of that now, you'll see, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that the minus 2000 just becomes 2000. So we're gonna to wanna to keep that in there. A good thing to note here is that while, while it only shows two, there are actually three different types of formatting, positive, negative, and then for zero. So if we didn't want zero to have that pound sign on it, we could put another semicolon in. We could go ahead and we could copy what we have here in positive, paste it at the end, and then get rid of that pound sign. Then we would have just zero in the middle here. So then we formatted each different type completely separately. And maybe we, Maybe because this has a negative sign and we want the positive to have a positive sign. So we go ahead, put a plus in there and we have that as well. Maybe we want it to be in the thousands. So if you put a K at the end, it'll present it like that. But as you can see, that has given us a K at the end of the 16,000 up here at this point. Whereas that now says 16,000 thousand, which isn't what we want. So if you come into this trouble when you're trying to use this custom syntax, what I recommend is going to number custom again and formatting it exactly how, as close to how you want it as you can get it. So with a thousand separators and you're going to want a pound sign at the front there and that's about as close as you can get it to for what you want. But then if, so if you go straight from here to custom, 
that is what's put in here. So you can see the K is there, and what was missing was we needed a, a comma before that K. So now we can go ahead and we can add back what we had before. Maybe it's, this is all we need for the zero part. So put in our semicolon again, hit paste, and our zero is zero. Go ahead and put our plus back in for the positives. And there we have plus pound sign 16K and minus pound sign 2K and zero with no other formatting around it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned more about custom number formats. If you'd like to watch more, check out this video on some access formatting tips.